Hello, this is Hans van der Kwaas, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. I received a question from a viewer on how to delineate the catchment of a location for which he has the coordinates of a measurement, a discharge measurement. In other videos I've covered how to delineate the catchment of an outlet. In this video I'll show you two methods how to define the outlet based on coordinates and then to derive the catchment belonging to the coordinate. Here I've loaded a DEM. It is already projected, so make sure you're not using a geographic coordinate system, otherwise you can't proceed. You first have to reproject the DEM. And then the first step is to fill the sinks. We use here the Wang and Liu algorithm from Saga. And we keep the settings at default and we're only interested in the filled DEM, so we give that output file name. And we uncheck the boxes of the others. And what it will do is uh, get rid of all the artificial depressions, also the real depressions, uh, that get the water stuck and make sure that all the water will flow to uh, an outlet. Now we can remove the original uh, DM here, not to get confused later. And I'm going to show you two methods to add coordinates and to simulate that. Uh, Capture them first from OpenStreetMap. And uh, here I assume that we are doing field work and that we have a discharge measurement here at the outlet of the Ruhr. And when I click right, I can copy the coordinates and I use here the latitude longitude coordinates because there was the question that was asked if I have latitude longitude coordinates, how do I add it? And I paste it here in Notepad and I add the ID number and I give it a header. That's the longitude, the first column, then the latitude and then an ID number. And then I save it. And this is a classic, always change to all files. So you can give it your own file extension. And I'll call it powerpoint.csv. Save it and close Notepad. Then I go to the Data Source Manager and there you have the Delimited Text tool. And here I can select the file, the CSV. And here make sure that uh, you have checked that it is comma separated. Well, we made it ourselves, so in our case that's true. Check here if your decimal separator is not a comma and um, it automatically finds the longitude and latitude coordinates and make sure you choose the correct projection, which is the EPSG 4326. And now we add it. But it's still in the projection uh, latitude longitude and we need to have it in the projection of our project. So I'm going to export it here to a geo package and I call it port point and I use the projection of the project which is a UTM projection. I can remove the other layer to avoid confusion. There was method one, you have a CSV file, you can import it. The second method is that you have coordinate and you want to create a point on the map. So I create a new scratch layer here, location, geometry type point, EPSG 426 because I want to enter latitude longitude coordinates and an ID, click OK. Now there's an empty layer which is in editing mode and it's a scratch layer that is just temporary. I'm going to install a plugin and the plugin is called Lat Long Tools. And here I get some extra buttons, and if I click this one, I can digitize from a lot long coordinate. I still have it in memory, so I just copy it here, comma separated. And you can choose here the order, lot long, non lot. In our case, it's non lot. I add the feature, it asks to fill in the attribute, and then it uh, simply adds it to the map. Toggle off the editing to save it. And it's exactly the same point as we had from the CSV file. 
And then you should also export it, save the features and uh, have it in the correct coordinates. But we'll proceed with the other one. Now this point does not necessarily match with the streams in the field DEM. Therefore we need to derive the channels. And we use the channel network and drainage basins tool. You can uh, use a threshold uh, for the strata order. The higher, the bigger the rivers. So I put it here on 8. And then I can save it to a new file, save it to channels. And I uncheck all the other outputs that I don't need. Now we need the point to snap to the line. And we use the Snap Geometries to Layer tool, where our input layer is this uh, port point, and the reference layer to which it has to snap is channels. And I can change the tolerance, and uh, you just need to uh, estimate it a bit. Here I'll say 2 kilometers, and then there are all kinds of uh, settings on the behavior. And you can also play with that. Uh, we'll just see what the effect is of using the first one. And let's save this one to our geo package. And I'll call it snapped port point. And now we see that the point has moved to the line. And uh, if you modify the behavior settings, then uh, it might end up at a closer spot on the line. Now we can delineate the catchment using the upslope tool and it needs the coordinates. So we need to first add the XY field. So we have our snapped port point. And we use the projection of the project because those coordinates match with the DM. We choose the geo package and I give it the layer name. Snapped port point XY. And I run it. And now it should be added to the attribute table. And there we have the X and Y coordinate in the UTM system. I can dock. Uh, the attribute table so I can easily copy it to the upslope area tool. So just do control C, control V. Here again, control C, control V. Choose the DEM. Choose the method. Here I just use the D8 method. And then save the new file. Close the dialog, and if I zoom to the layer, I see the delineated catchment. Now we can uh, export that as a polygon. So I polygonize the raster. You can uh, change it to 8 connectness, which will also take the connections in the diagonal into account, but I keep it here at the 4 connectness. And then we save it. And let's call it catch poly. Then I run it. And here we have the result, but it has the catchment and it has the boundary polygon. And we only want the catchment, so I go to the attribute table, dock it. And then let's see which one is the catchment. And that is number three. So I invert the selection. And I toggle editing, click the trash bin to delete it, and then I save the result. And then we have the catchment boundary. And that's the result. So you've seen two methods to delineate the catchment of coordinates that you know.